Two teens were wounded after shots were fired in a high speed chase through the streets of St. Bernard. That chase ended when one of the cars knocked down a utility pole, cutting power in that area for hours. Local 12's Brad Underwood is live along Vine Street where that chase ended. Brad. Well, good evening, Morella. Yeah, you know, this all taking place last night, but still a lot to clean up today here in St. Bernard. Not only uh, did the crash that car take out a utility pole, also punching a very large section of the cemetery fence out and destroying a six foot tall monument. Now police have to figure out who was responsible for what, as well as finding that second car and possible shooters. Sunday, Duke Energy and Spectrum crews repair the damage after police say a stolen car involved in a high-speed shootout crashes into St. John Cemetery. And we heard three to four shots fired that appeared to be north of RPD. Only four blocks away, police got there quickly, finding a 16-year-old boy suffering from a grazed bullet wound to the left wrist. He was taken to Children's Hospital, treated, released, and interviewed by police, later released to family. An 18-year-old woman was also found near the crash in someone's backyard, suffering from a gunshot wound to the back. She was taken to UC Medical Center, treated, interviewed, and released. Police say witnesses saw a third person walk away from the crash. We found three firearms in the vehicle that crashed into three cell phones. One was a MAC-10 and two were uh, two other automatic firearms that were in there. Those have been collected by a Cincinnati criminalist unit that came out and assisted us with the crime scene. Police are still trying to locate the other car and those inside it. Lieutenant Bill Ungru says there's no reason to believe any of the people involved are from St. Bernard and that there is no danger to people in the village. This is a case of outside violence ending in St. Bernard. It's this ongoing thing that we see throughout Cincinnati in the tri-state area. Uh, where you've got young thugs that are stealing cars and uh, living the gangster lifestyle with you know, weapons and doing things that they shouldn't be doing. As for that uh, second car, there is no description coming from police uh, about it. They're hoping to work with nearby businesses and residents who may have any video footage of that uh, speeding shootout and chase as well as the crash and that other car moving on. But a lot to work with here because at least what they have now, you have that crash. You also have two shooting victims who are also people of interest in all of this. Morella. All right, Brad, thank you for helping us piece all of that together. If you have any information, St. Bernard Police would like to hear from you. Call 513-242-2727.